welcome to this week's vlog. It is Wednesday, the 15th of May, 6.59 a.m., 65 degrees outside. We are home from our Alaskan cruise, and I cannot believe how quickly it flew by. It just, it got here and it was gone in a flash. Coffee. So we have a lot to chit chat about. We're not gonna talk too much about Alaska because obviously you just watched, I think you will have watched, yeah, you've already seen the sneak peek. So it's the week after we've been home from Alaska, but you have seen the sneak peek by now, but um, we're not gonna talk too much about it because I'm sure you're sick of it. So um, uh, I did wanna show you some of the things I picked up. Now, a lot of you know, if you follow me on Facebook, I did pick up a Pandora bracelet. I just got up. We got home at 1.30 in the morning. Got to bed at 2.30. And it is 6.30. Or almost 7. We've been up since. We got up around 6.30. I picked up the Pandora bracelet. Um, I'll insert a picture here. So it's easier to see. Um, I am so happy to be a part of the Pandora world. Um, my eyes itch. Hold on one second. I can hardly breathe. I'm very stuffy. My face itches. My chest itches. My body itches. Everything itches. And it is 100% my fault. <laughs> we got home last night and we were both starving. We had had that burger. I had had bread. It was terrible. I should not have had bread. I didn't feel the greatest and we were tired and I was like, you know what? I just give me some nachos. I'm already miserable. Let me just have them. And so I had maybe eight nachos and um, I'm suffering the consequences. I'm just all, all in here and all down my, I'm itchy. And on the plane I had, there was a rash all around here. It's just truly either I have new intolerances or allergies. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. I just know I can't eat it. And I have had so many indulgences on the cruise this past week. I decided I would go ahead. Since I was there, the burger looked fantastic. It was delicious. I'll go ahead and have the burger. And then today we're going to have some Mexican food later on today. Um, so I'm going to take some Benadryl here in just a little bit. And uh, I, <laughs> seriously, I'm trying not to eat all day. And you're gonna ignore my sniffing and my nasal sounding nose because that's what happens when I eat things I'm not supposed to eat. <laughs> so, um, yes. And I have a doctor's appointment on Friday that I'm going to call and cancel today and reschedule because there's no point in me going in and her seeing if I've made any progress when I've eaten so poorly this week and I clearly have symptoms. So, yeah. Anyway, I am uh, ready to be back on the keto train tomorrow. Um, I really, I really am. I'm ready to feel 100% better again because when I avoid the foods, the grains, I'm not supposed to have, I feel great. So let's talk about my Been There series. My cups that I picked up along the way. I only picked up three. I don't know, of all the places we went, three is not bad. Three, um, mugs to drink from so I picked up the Seattle one I just love it absolutely love it so there's Seattle oh, today I am drinking out of my Tennessee mug I know I should have come to you with like one of them but I couldn't be bothered to wash them at 1 30 in the morning actually we got home later than that because we left the airport we left the airport at 10 after 1. Grace and so, um, what did I do with the mug? Oh, right there. I'm a little slow today. I'm sorry. Poor Rob had to go to work. Well, so do I, but just not leaving the house. Um, the British Columbia one. It just, <laughs> love it. Okay. So, British Columbia and last but not least the place I spent the least amount of time in Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas <laughs> so yeah 
Um, I have to tell you, uh, I like the blue ones. I, I didn't, all the ones I've ever seen are orange. So I really like the blue. I really like that. So maybe the states, they get really cold or blue, huh? Well, Tennessee gets cold and it's orange. So there we go. Um, that's the mugs. Now, <laughs> because I didn't want big mugs, from, well, I mean, I would love to have the big mugs, but basically I couldn't get them home. And I wasn't looking to give Starbucks all my money. So I got the small ones for the Christmas tree. So we have Nevada. Is it focused? No, it's not focused. Nevada. Which mug. Okay. Seattle. The like, sweet little Seattle one. Is it the same as the big mug? No, it's different. Mount Rainier, uh, coffee beans, the dogs, Starbucks, soccer, whales, oh, city of Goodwill, cruise ship. It's awesome. I really like that. So these will stay in our little box. Um, and this one is Las Vegas, of course. Now the only one I couldn't get, the two I couldn't get were from Alaska. I am sure there's ones for Skagway. I'm sure each little town, maybe not Skagway, I don't know, but I'm sure Ketchikan has one. Um, and maybe um, Juno. I, I need to collect them. I'm gonna look on eBay and see what I can find. Um, Washington, so. But I need to get, like I said, Alaska, Juno, um, Ketchikan, whatever, the little, little areas they have, they may have um, the mugs for. So, um, because, uh, we didn't leave, we left the port area, but we didn't, we were on excursions. And so you went exactly where you were going and then you left again. You didn't, um, th there was really no way to explore. It's, it's huge. Alaska's huge. So it's not like you could walk down the street and there was your Starbucks like it was in Victoria, which we got very lucky. They didn't have the Victoria mug. So I need to order that one as well. Not the mug, the little cup, the little ornament. So because I'm quite fine with the British Columbia one. That's great. Um, it's, I wonder if they have one that says like Canada, not, I'm sure, surely they do. So, but there's lots to see in British Columbia and I need to go into, in Victoria. So we had the best time. We just had the best time. Just had the best time. Now, a lot of stuff came in while I was gone. Okay, not a lot, but a few things came in while I was gone and my boxy charm is one of them. So let's go get that, okay? So there she is. Let's see what is in her. Um, it's about time for all my subscription boxes to be coming in. I'm excited because next month is Boxy Lux. I love Boxy Lux. I've been excited for this one too. I've seen a few spoilers. I watched Terry's video. So Terry, watch somebody's video opening this. Okay, so this month is Make Waves. Oh, how perfect. Look at the cruise ship on there. Or the ship with the boat. Yeah. That's me. I have wanted to see what color they're gonna send me. Strawberry pop in Dose of Colors. You know, I didn't buy this from Ulta when it was on sale with my 20% off coupon, so we're getting one from BoxyCharm. They, they, I'm frustrated that they keep sending me these weird colors, and I've taken the profile, but I still get these bright, crazy colors, and that's not me. Please send me neutral colors, BoxyCharm. I'm sorry I'm complaining. <laughs> because indeed I am. This is not for me. I'm going to put it on because I've opened it. Oh my. That is pink. That's disappointing. But this will allow me to try it on and see if I like it. This is called New Bestie Strawberry Pop Liquid Matte Lipstick. Oh, New Bestie just it must be their little advertisement. Uh, it'll let me see if I like it enough to buy one. So, um, because I've wanted to try them for a long time, but not this color. 
Okay, so the Glam Glow, this is a face wash. This is a gentle bubble daily conditioning cleanser, Hollywood, California, blended with oat amino acids. This does not say gluten-free. Um, but I don't think we have a problem. I'll look it up. I'm sure it's fine. Um, not everything is, though. You should pay attention to that if you have a gluten allergy like me. This is very rainbow. There we go. Let's see if it has a scent. Um, no, no real scent. So, there we go. We'll definitely use that. I have no problem with that. And this is Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow by Ciate London. Just like this, a cute little, come on. This camera has had a workout this week. I have dropped it. I dropped it from like five feet up on a concrete floor. Ooh, wow. That is sparkly. <laughs> um, this I'll take on cruise ships for like formal night. Let's give this a, wow. Oh, I know Terry loved this. I know she did. Wow. You know, I may love this. I like the, um, look at that. That's crazy. But it's nice to have, you know, it's nice to have something over the top like that because for me, I don't wear anything like that and I wouldn't buy it, but it's nice to have like on formal nights on the ship on elegant night that'll be great to have on the cruise coming up in may with the group cruise we can when we're wearing our tiaras we can bling out our eyes okay and this is by alamar they're all sparkly but that doesn't bother me really doesn't bother me um i actually have been looking at glowier blushes all right so let's try castaway oh it's so that's buttery that's not going to help you. Wow, that's cast away. Is it even showing? No, we can't see it. These feel so soft on there. Yasmin, I hear you, baby girl. And then there's one last thing in here. I don't, I'm not, I don't hate this. You know, I'm not a big highlighter person. It's a blush highlighter, highlighter blush. But it's summertime, and, you know, I'm about having fun. Now, I don't like to glow too much because I'm very oily, <gasps> except in Alaska. In Alaska and in um, Seattle, I'm not oily, and I appreciate that, like a lot. I also tried some new things on my skin, so, um, and I'll be doing them here in Houston to see how they are, but I don't think they're going to work as well as they did in a drier climate. Okay, this is mellow brow definer please be my color they always send me stuff for like brunettes which is exactly what this is what my coloring must be weird with boxycharm i have taken that quiz but this is in the color chocolate Okay, Boxy, I'm going to email you and I'm going to tell you that we're going to fix this because that's frustrating. I get lipsticks I can't use. You know, last month I got the lipstick, it was, the Becca lipstick was brown. Like not, it was too brown and I can't wear it. And I'm so disappointed because I wanted that lipstick. Um, the whole box was for the lipstick. And these two I can't wear because they're not in colors I would ever wear. Now this is drawing down more of a red. I may, it cut me off. I may for fun try that. Um, but we will see. Okay, so we talked about the cups. That's all I purchased. I did purchase my Carnival Legend charm on the cruise ship and my Carnival Legend blingy top on the cruise ship. And that was it. That's all we purchased on the ship. And um, when we go on the Valor this summer, I will hopefully get one there too. And then we will be back on the Magic in next, next year, early next year, and hopefully I will be able to get a magic charm because I have been on the magic before. And then when we're on the Vista later next year, hopefully I will get a Vista charm. And then I will have collected all the ships that I have actually, except Breeze. We'll be on the Breeze again later. I'll get the Breeze. So I really like having the charms. Um, it's just, it's just nice and I can change them out. Um, I'm most likely just going to put them on the the bracelet and wear it as a charm bracelet. So 
there you go. Anyway, but I do have the matching necklace, which has the Freedom Charm on it, as Freedom is my favorite cruise until Alaska. Freedom is my favorite Caribbean cruise. Legend is my favorite Alaskan cruise. There you go. I was just unpacking, <clears throat> and I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I picked up as little souvenirs. Well, first of all, we have some Canadian money. Rob has a five, a bill, um, and this is for the kids. I always like it when we bring that back. Of course, the Carnival Legend uh, cruise ship ornament. Um, this is from, this is just, you know, in Alaska. I really wanted something handmade, but they were just too expensive. And honestly, I don't think I could have gotten it home. So just the Alaska Puppers Christmas ornament. And then this one is Skagway. I did not get one in every port. I got one in Skagway because at that time it was my favorite port. And then one from Canada, obviously Victoria. And this one is for the inside passage, the cruise we did. So there's that one. And then for my husband, because he loves it, and this I know is not made in Alaska, but we like them and we looked everywhere for this, the whale tail. So made out of the, it's either soapstone or granite. I think it's soapstone. So it's really pretty and he really wanted that. So he wanted one a touch bigger, but they didn't have it. We looked everywhere. They had the brown ones, but they, he didn't want a brown one. He wanted a gray one or like a black one. So there we go. Anyway, um, I think that's it. I think that's it. I just wanted to pop in and show you that. That's the kind of thing we pick up on a t trip. T-shirts. Um, I've started doing the Christmas ornaments, the charms, now the Pandora. So um, there you go. The Christmas ornaments are kind of new in the last couple of trips, mainly because that's really a way. It's small, typically inexpensive, and um, you know. Now I really wish I had picked up handmade items, but again, it was we already had enough stuff with us, and we were flying home. So this time I just did simple little, you know. Good morning. Welcome to. Friday. It's going to be a weird vlog this week because we didn't start vlogging because we were traveling. So we didn't start vlogging until later in the week. Um, so how are you today? Um, I am well. I am, it was chilly this morning, having some coffee in my British Columbia mug. I am a mess. Um, I promise you'll see me looking a little better in a little bit. I've got a video to film. My paper box is here. It is 7.31 a.m., 70 degrees outside. My air conditioner just kicked on. I do need to adjust the temperature on that. I'll be right back. Adjust it, meaning turn it off. <laughs> okay, so um, yesterday I started getting back on track with my eating. Um, I didn't eat anything non-keto yesterday, but I did have too many calories because I'm indulging. There's heavy whipping cream in my coffee because I don't have any half and half but it's delicious. <coughs> oh, I just sucked in air. Woo. Um, I thought today, oh, little dog's outside, I need to let him in. Today we're gonna take a look at my flowers and how they're doing out back. And um, we're going to need to go to the grocery store and that kind of thing. Um, I don't know that we're going to have an actual cooking haul, a cooking vlog this week, um, because yes, I'll be cooking. I'll definitely be cooking, but um, I'm not sure what. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Um, so it may be an Alaska vlog you get on a Saturday instead of a cooking vlog, so. But uh, we'll definitely get back into it. Are you being sleepy, puppy? Oh, you sleepy puppy. Oh, mama. Oh, goodness. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Woof. <gasps> mama. Are you precious?
어. 오케이, okay, so I just closed out the Alaska vlog. I thought we'd look real quick at my flowers. It is now 5.37 in the afternoon. Yes, they need to be transplanted. This I know, you see the little baby ones coming in though, those seeds that um, are finally sprouting for me. So I need to go and get a uh, flower pot for them so that I can transplant them. And here are my succulents. I need to get them planted. That's all on the list. We just, I ran out of time before Alaska. And then here are my roses. Chandler did really good taking care of everything. Um, they're not budding. So I don't have any buds on them. I, I don't know, do roses go in phases where they bud and then they don't bud? Maybe they need some food. So I'm likely gonna pick up either some miracle Grow or some rose food or something like that. Also, I feel like they might be in too small of a container. I'm not sure, it just feels like all of a the sudden there's like a lot of rose for not a lot of container. So, I may be like rotating containers around. So uh, that's one thing I'm gonna go and do. I'm gonna pick up some dirt and pick up some inexpensive plastic, cute little plastic containers from, I don't know, the dollar store or something. Anyway, so that's coming this weekend, hopefully, and I uh, also need to clean out here, but the kids are coming home on Saturday as we've been gone a long time, so they all come home to see their parents. And um, so that's what we're doing tomorrow, it's Friday. So uh, that's that. I did use a new palette today. I don't know, can you see my wrinkles? Probably. So it's the Flower Beauty palette. I actually really like it. And this is Flower Beauty. It's the dupe for um, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Uh, Emily Noel said it was, I don't know. I'll put the name, the color on the screen here because I don't remember right now. And this is an old uh, powder that I used to use a while back. It's by Clinique. And uh, it's their foundation, powder foundation. I pulled out Come on, come on, come on. I pulled out, whoa, she almost knocked me over. Um, some old makeup, some makeup I haven't used in a while. The IT Cosmetics Foundation and my Clinique, pow both powder foundations. Um, I'm looking a little yellow. I don't know if it's just the camera screen or I'm actually, I don't know, whatever. Uh, just because uh, I've been wanting to try some more powder foundations. That's really what I prefer. I really prefer powder foundations. It's just so much easier. But I have two, three or four liquid foundations that I'm really liking now. So I'm gonna leave it with those and use this powder foundation and try and go through all of that before um, I buy anything else. I'm trying to find what actually works for me. I look really yellow. It's, it's driving me crazy. Anyway, um, we'll see when I get into editing. And also the lighting. See, I turn a little bit and I don't look as yellow. It's just the lighting, the outside lights. So, but you guys, I have a question for you. Little dog, come here. He's trying to go over and fuss with the next door neighbor's dog. Uh, do you guys want to talk more or have a little more makeup and skincare in the vlogs? Are you interested in that? Um, I am an ex-smoker and I'm 47 years old and I have <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to having big dogs. Um, and I, <laughs> I have wrinkles under my eyes and um, I wanted to know if you're interested in any kind of makeup or beauty on the channel. You know, that can sound good. So I'm just you know, just let me know. Let me know if you're interested in it and um, maybe we'll delve into that a little bit. Um, well, since we haven't done it before, we'll dive into it a little bit. And then the second time we'll delve a little bit more. <laughs> so I did do a get ready with me on the ship, but I'm not real sure about sharing it. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I don't, I don't really know. I've done a couple of them, but I never upload them because I don't know if you're interested. So I don't want this channel to turn into a beauty channel, but I wouldn't mind putting a little bit of that on there. I mean, we do clothing and stuff like that. No, no. Excuse me. Okay, so we're in the car. Hello. Hello. I found a Robert for you. It is 121, Saturday the 18th, 82. Disgusting degrees af outside after being in Alaska, coming home to Freezing. the- Freezing. Hot. Ugh. Okay, I gotta fix this, hold on. Okay, there we go. He just can't look at Rob today. Um, let me get this right. All right, so I have you on a mount on my Osmo pocket. 
so um, it's just easier in the car. It's not, it doesn't move as much. So we are headed to Costco, Trader Joe, and H-E-B. Um, oh, thing in the road. I do have a $5 off coupon for Target that expires today. But unfortunately, if you go into Target, you know what happens. You don't spend $5. You, you spend $105 and Target knows that. So, but you're saving $5. But you're saving $5. The only thing we really need is like kitty litter because I forgot to add it back to our um, Chewy.com. Yeah, Chewy.com order. So that's really the only thing we need from there. But, you know, I can get that at Costco and it's basically the same price. So I'll probably just grab it at Costco. Um, Anyway, but uh, I am going to just keep this in our regular weekly vlog this week, uh, especially because I'm not doing a whole lot of cooking and it's already Saturday. Anyway, so we are running to Costco. My whole point in all of this rambling was I'm going to keep the Costco haul and the grocery haul, all of that is just gonna be in this video this week because there will be no cooking vlog. Um, and we'll get back to our cooking vlogs starting next week for you. So you'll see those starting next week. Yeah, here we are at Costco again on a Saturday. I swear, I'll never learn. <laughs> oh, grill mats. That I used the heck out of those. Let's see. Finally found some here. I don't have to order them off Amazon. Ooh, what's that thing? Ooh, that's neat. Costco is dangerous. They have too many things that everybody wants. What? What do you see now? Ooh, cameras. Oh. Yeah, that's gorgeous. But feel how heavy it is. And I've had that before. I had the, um, one of these, that one. That's the one I had. And I turned it in. See, you could be that cameraman. You, you're stronger than me. You could have that one around your neck. <laughs> Dragging you down everywhere you go. It's so heavy. Ooh, Google Wi-Fi. Nice. This is smaller and lighter. Yeah. Significantly. Even with that extra battery pack on there. What oh, is lighter? Oh, it's not hard. It won't turn on, but with up to 300 millimeter zoom. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe at some point that would have been good for Alaska, but my other one did really well. Yeah, this is exactly what I traded in. I had the 3500. Yeah. Take me to Tortilla Strips. <laughs> Take me to Tortilla Strips. Yep, here comes the rain. We have found our way to Trader Joe's. See you inside. Okay, so we're home from the grocery store. We went to Costco, Trader Joe, and H-E-B, and I'm gonna show you that haul real quick. And JoJo has to get a drink, and then Millie, and then Addie. So we're gonna hear dog licking for quite a little while. All right, so here is, there we go, now we're focused. So we got eggs from Costco. I had a few in there, so I only picked up two this week. We have a Grayson in a box. Grayson, Grayson, hi buddy. 
Those are strawberry boxes, and we picked them up from H, uh, Costco. The cats love them, specifically the strawberry boxes. They absolutely love them. That one's been there a while, that's why there's fur on it. Okay, so back to the haul, I'm sorry. So eggs, and we got this for Rob to try. Obviously, I can't try it, but he might like that. Um, two large containers of hamburger beef, hamburger meat, ground beef, <laughs> queso, the mayonnaise that I like very much. I think these speak for themselves. You know the fur in this house. Bacon, we got the regular bacon this week and we picked up some of the uncured applewood smoked bacon from Debecca. They also had their sausage this week, but I didn't get any. Um, these are barbecue grill mats. I typically get these from Amazon, but this was at a good price, so I thought we would give these a try and see how we like these. We'll use these today, we'll try them today. Uh, the Cameron's Coffee, I really like this. I am not out, I have a half a bag left, but we were there, so I went ahead and picked it up. This looked really good after having so many cheese plates on the cruise this last couple of weeks. I really love cheese, and so um, I thought I would try this one. And these are sliced, so it's nice and easy to serve them up. I'm gonna make some crackers, some keto crackers. Um, Charlesburg Light, which is basically Swiss. It's like the same thing. So I just picked up the Charlesburg because I go through go through it a lot. I really like to eat it just as a snack. Um, it's just really good. Uh, Colby Jack cheese. Uh, we are having fajitas tonight. We're almost out of cheese, but I went ahead and picked up some more. Hebrew National hot dogs. We actually have plenty of hot dogs in the freezer, but these when these are available at Costco, it's $9.99 for a four pack of the regular Hebrew National hot dogs. We pick them up because they're not always there. And then, of course, chicken. So there you go, the total was, okay, so the Costco total was $246, no, $249.89. So when you have to get a lot of bacon, beef, and cheese, it can get really expensive really quickly. Um, but that's, this is probably two weeks, maybe a little longer of meals, definitely longer on chicken. Um, and this bacon, the DeBecca bacon, is for hamburgers, breakfast, that kind of thing on the weekends. Um, it's not made for everyday eating because it's too expensive. This is the everyday eating bacon. Okay, so Trader Joe, um, we picked up zucchini. I love Trader Joe's zucchinis. Um, they're never, you know, damaged except now, which they got in the bag. Um, and they're always really good and fresh. They last a while. Um, I don't know, they just seem to be better. I wanted some zucchini pasta. Uh, probably tomorrow and cheese enchiladas for Rob we get two of these um, he really likes these after work or something uh, Japanese style fried rice for Chandler he really likes that Rob wanted to try the beef mini tacos or mini beef tacos and the fettuccine alfredo for Chandler we do get more than just two of these uh, this looked really good for me smoked salmon dip um, it's got pretty good stats on it I, you know I'm not hold on let me get it to focus there we go got pretty good stats on it so for two tablespoons it has three carbs so that's not terrible and here are the ingredients um, it just looked pretty good I just wanted to kind of give it a try and see like I said I'm gonna be baking making some crackers and I had not seen this before this is almond dip just it's jalapeno lime I'm gonna have this tonight with dinner just looked really good and here are the stats on this so let's see where are the carbs so it has three carbs and one gram of, fi gram of fiber so in two tablespoons so I figured that's not bad I mean, it's not great but it's not bad and there are the ingredients um, it just looked really good and I'm kind of missing hummus right now so I thought I would try this okay now spices so I wanted some new flavoring so we got 21 season salute I've heard good things about this one um, so we're going to try that one. That's what's in there. And then I needed ginger paste for the Hawaiian rolls I'm going to be making. They're keto Hawaiian rolls. And, um, of course this is everyday seasoning. This just looked really good to go along with my other one. We're going to have hamburgers later this week and there's that. And here are the ingredients. Whoops. Where are the ingredients? Nope. it is just a little different with the mustard seed coriander which is like cumin Himalayan pink salt just for ease it was in the bag and the bag was cold so there we go just and then my traditional favorite garlic salt from Trader Joe and here is what is in there, there we go all right
right, and that is it for uh, Trader Joe. Trader Joe was $59.21. Remember, we did get six of these, so there you go. All right, now here is H-E-B. The water my husband and Chandler actually picked up at work the other day, that's not included in this haul, but you know they drink that all the time. They were out, so they picked it up while they were out. Um, these are chips, they were buy two, and you got the salsa for free. So they did that. Those are the H-E-B brand uh, tortilla chips Rob really loves. Diet Snapple, because Chandler really enjoys this. This is one of his favorite drinks, so I got him one as a thank you uh, for all his hard work for us this past week. Tortilla, uh, tortillas, because we're having fajitas for dinner tonight and the kids are coming home. Um, this is Almond Breeze Creamer. I just wanted to try it. It just looked a new one I hadn't tried. So let's see, this one has zero carbs, zero sugar, zero everything. So I just wanted to try that one. Half and half for my coffee, heavy whipping cream, ketchup for Chandler, I have my sugar free or no added sugar, sour cream, um, taco sauce for Rob, taco seasoning, Philadelphia cream cheese, Velveeta for Chandler, an avocado for dinner tonight, an onion for fajitas tonight. Um, my delicious favorite, Mount Olive diced jalapenos. I have one open in there, but I always have to have a backup. Clint's salsa, lettuce for dinner tonight, um, freezer bags for all that meat over there, pepperoni for their pizza, uh, jicama chips because I love them, pico de gallo because I love it and we're having tacos tonight. Um, I find this lasts me like four meals. If I, if I keep it sealed up, it'll last. And hot dog buns because hot dogs and we also have some we also have some in the freezer and paper towels i believe that's everything oh i forgot from costco we bought the gigantic container of toilet paper so that was from costco also okay so that's it that's all oh that's all we picked up now you know what i get to do right now i gotta put all of this away and then tomorrow i've got to break down the hamburger meat and put it in the ziploc bag so basically what i do no not basically what i do is take two of these pre-portioned sections and i slip it in a ziploc bag push it flat push out the air and seal it up and then you can stack them one right on top of the other and uh, that's a meal so one of one of these two part section is one meal for us for all three of us so um, so that's one, two, three, so that's six meals in there. So there's 12 meals for the two containers. So that's not bad. Um, and I put it in the freezer. So, uh, yes, I'm going to be doing some baking coming up on the cooking vlog, but, um, not as much, not really as much. We're getting into summer. So, and I found that two minute hamburger bun, which is fantastic. That's probably what I'm going to stick to. Um, but the breads and stuff like that, we may slow down a little bit on those. I do want to make some crackers. Um, I do have a keto cheesecake that I want to try. And, um, there's a hamburger, a hamburger salad, a Big Mac salad. I still need to try. There's all of that. So that's coming, coming up over the next few weeks. But tonight we're having fajitas and all the kids are going to be home. So I'll show you a little bit, but it's just prepackaged H-E-B fajitas. Here we had them in the freezer, so we're going to have those tonight. Um, I cannot eat these. These have wheat in them, so these are not for me, but I'm going to have tacos, so that's not a problem. Yes, there are dishes in my sink. It's going to be okay. <laughs> that's life. We were busy today. Um, anyway, so there you go. All right, I'm going to put all this stuff away, and I'll catch up with you in a minute. Are you in your new box from Costco? Beetle. It'll be all. Oh, Grayson. 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 Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Are you in your box? Oh, you got the camera strap. You got the camera strap. Is it yours? Is that yours to play with? Here. Is that the Grayson strap? Hmm? Are you adorable? Hmm? Grayson. <gasps> You're so cute. Are you gonna bap little dog? Are you gonna <laughs> bap him? Oh, that was attractive, Addy. Grayson. Grayson. Handsome. No. How about you? Are you gonna play with it? Are you gonna play with it too? Their little extra tags around their necks say, if I'm out, I am lost. Um, because our cats are inside cats only. 
Hi, Pedro. Here, let me show. Let me show. Come here. And then, oops, it's on the wrong side. There you go. I got them on uh, from Petco. Oh, mommy! That was annoying. It was very annoying. Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Did you have opinions too? Did you have opinion? Oh, no, you have a belly, huh? I got belly, it needs to be scrubbed, rubbed. Is that what it needs? Oh, you ignored it the whole time in the live last night, mommy. My tummy was there for you and you ignored it. Am I getting the side eye? <laughs> mama, mama, oh, so pretty. Did you know that, that you produce water? Did you know? Because everywhere you go, there's water. Everywhere you go, so you must make it. Well, yes. Okay. You're so full of opinions today, aren't you, baby? And that's full of them, pretty, pretty girl. That's full of them, yes. You're so precious. Oh, that's so precious. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a good girl. Oh, am I gonna stop? <laughs> You giving me warning not to stop? Is that what that is? Mommy, don't stop. Don't stop the love it. Okay, so we have some weather coming in, supposedly. I don't know. I, they say it's coming and then they change their mind. I don't know. Um, but I know this weekend we're supposed to get some rain, which makes me very happy. So I'll show you the fajitas. There we go. There's fajitas. Those are not mine those are from HEB I think I showed you that already so um, the kids really the family likes them uh, I of it I don't eat them so the kids are one of the kids or some of the kids are gonna go swimming tonight I'm not sure um, we'll have to see oops sorry so but that's what's gonna happen all I have left to do for dinner is I'm gonna grill some onions or pan fry you know not pan fry uh, saute some onions and uh, heat up the chili con queso, that's about it. And uh, dinner will be ready. I'll probably make some rice for Chandler because he likes to have rice with his fajitas and tacos and stuff like that. Um, not Spanish rice, he does like Spanish rice, but um, we really, just at home, we just make regular rice. And if you want it to have a little flavor to it, you throw a little salsa on it, no big deal. <laughs> um, so, but that's what's gonna happen tonight. The kids will be here any minute, uh, it's 5.30. Hello. <laughs> It's Sunday. Um, we sort of stayed around the house today. So it's 9.13 at night, the 19th of May, 82 degrees outside. It's so gross outside. Um, we took the day off. Um, I needed a little bit of a break from the computer and I needed um, some recovery time before this week ahead for us. Let me put you, I know it's dark, but let me put you up here. Let's see if I can adjust you. So as I was saying, we sort of took today off. We uh, chose to kind of relax today and um, take some time off. Uh, Rob has been on social media a little bit today. I've been on and off a little bit today, but mostly we just needed kind of a day to catch up and recover. Um, I have 10 loads of laundry to put away, if not more. It's just just took a lazy day and yesterday you saw me cook the fajitas so we didn't even get to eat them um, I was cutting them and I went to reach for my Pyrex bowl out of my cabinet and it's just the cabinets way up there and I get on my tippy toes to pull it out I should have gotten a stool and um, it slipped and it fell and it crashed on the granite countertops and chipped my granite countertops and glass exploded everywhere. Um, ev when I say everywhere, I mean it was all the way across my kitchen, it was in my living room, it was over by the couch, it was everywhere. So the meat was covered in glass shards, so I had to throw it away. I was so upset, I was really upset. Taylor did come home for dinner, the kids came home. So dad took them out for pizza and I had cooked some tacos and so I had some tacos. Um, they came home with the pizza and ate it at home with me. I wanted tacos so I had the tacos and they got pizza and it's their favorite pizza so it was good. 
they were very happy, no complaints. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here in the dark. <laughs> Um, and we will start a new vlog next week. Oh, thank you so much for spending this time with us this week. I know this vlog's been kind of odd. We're just getting back to normal after our week in Alaska. And uh, so next week, starting tomorrow, so next week for you, but starting tomorrow for me, there'll be lots more cooking. There'll be lots more regular vlog going on. We're definitely gonna do make some progress with the plants next week, I really hope. I need to, I need to have time for that. Um, I'm gonna be running next week. Life is going to be completely back to normal starting tomorrow for me, next week for you. Um, and um, as I'd like to get this last about 15 pounds off before we go to our cruise in September. So that's our next cruise. Our next trip is Pensacola um, in July and then we have Nashville in early September girls trip with other fellow youtubers and then um after that we have the cruise to out of new orleans on the valor and then after that we have the carnival freedom <laughs> with uh carl and donna uh, eight days to half moon k that's going to be awesome on the freedom so excited for that and that'll be it for our travel this year so we have one two three four more trips this year so I'd really like to be at my goal weight before we go on our next cruise so that would make me very happy so I'm gonna stick to it get back to my normal routine besides um, I feel so much better when I eat like I'm supposed to and this rash that's all over me is driving me crazy and the itching it's I can't take it anymore so um, for sure be back on track I, I didn't eat anything I'm not supposed to today um, yesterday I had a little bit but not a whole lot and after it I was miserable so I really realized I, I have to get back to normal so okay so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it. If you are new to our channel, thank you so much. Welcome. Our weekly vlogs are usually split into two. We have a cooking uh, vlog on keto and we have a weekly vlog just about our life and what we do around here. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye.